The mysteries of the world were like open books to the wise, and words from the wise shall benefit man and beast. She knew where it was coming from. Her ancestors had spoken of such corruption flooding down the mountain. But Grandma Margaret wanted to know what it was and what needed to be done to destroy it. Lucy could spend hours with paper and pencil, giving life to objects she witnessed in the clouds, drowning herself in her own world, a place empty of life's trials and tribulations, and away from Grandma Margaret, who was always insisting that she continue to practice her other specialty.
How can this be? Is he lost? Uttered Margaret under her breath. Lost in the study of the walls and oblivious to her surroundings. She always had time for her children, but it was best to leave Grandma to her pursuits now. He would like to offer a discount for his rescue, but there had not been many customers lately. Eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb.
creature howled in anguish as death slowly beckoned to bestow its peace. The Bergson could go no further. The path blocked. The life crystal, as if filled to the brim with life, started to pulse. A way had opened, a step closer to the spirit at the heart of the caves. But before taking that step, caution dictated a return to home to inform the family of the newfound passage. Worried for the missing boy, Ben thought that maybe he should have hidden the daggers better. Margaret, in her wisdom, knew that nothing would have remained hidden from Kevin forever. Now, she only encouraged her son and his daughter to hurry and find him. Kevin returned from his saga with barely a scratch, yet he found no appreciation from his family, especially his father. Despite having Linda on his side, his father was still mad at him for endangering himself and worrying them all, including his pregnant mother. His favorite line asking how he could be so inconsiderate. He wondered whether Uncle Ben would understand his bravery and initiative better. With his heroic act unrecognized, the young boy waited, frustrated, expecting more punishment. What Kevin had not expected was his parents' reaction. Heartened by his courage, his father was going to teach him the ways of battle, and his mother was far from the frail and always worried housewife she had seemed. A Bergson through and through, she gave him her blessing and asked only that he temper his courage with caution. Uncle Ben was the happiest of them all. Not only had his nephew held his own in combat, but had done so with the weapons he had made for him. Kevin only wished his older brother Mark was there to witness his rise to the family calling. Defeated, the Spider King had been removed from the path leading to the halls of Anaya Dyer. Although the pestering of greedy goblins might still prove dangerous along the way. Uncle Ben was pointing out possible routes forward, speaking of the troubles pilgrims had run into in the lost trenches. Margaret knew full well that signs and symbols were seldom obvious and never direct. She was certain that the cause of the corruption would be difficult to discover. The past holds both joy and bitterness of time. Sheila could help them, as John said, 
but Ben could not bring himself to overlook the sting of their past relationship. soaked muck of these trenches with a path to the halls of Anaidaya. As the conversation turned to the progress of the corruption, Mary was curious to know which village had been attacked this time. However, that worry gave way to panic when Lucy entered. Poor beasts, all slaughtered. Maybe something had infected them. The corruption was on their doorstep now. 